what's going on everybody we are headed to Talladega we uh, actually slept last night in a very dirty truck stop and we actually drove probably two hours farther than uh, we intended just because uh, boondocking is harder than it looks let me tell you we, yeah, the, we, you have to get there pretty early at like the reputable truck stops because the truckers get all the prime spots yeah we stopped at a Walmart but uh, we kind of chickened out so it's kind of spooky when you're the only one there you don't know if you can stay there or not so here we are at a truck stop so we drove through Louisiana and now we're in Mississippi yeah so we drove uh, how many hours like Four or five hours. So we have another five or six to go before we get there. Uh, we got to get some diesel this morning and then we'll be on our way. See, we filled up at these truck stops enough now, and and I have it down to a science. So I fill up, she goes in and get what we need, if we need anything, like coffee. Figured it which there she is now. Oh, yeah. you got some earplugs for the race? I did. How was it? Tried the famous Lung coffee. You see, my dad's a uh, truck driver, so he uh, has tried many truck stop uh, different coffees, so uh, in his mind, uh, Loves has the best coffee in the world. Of course, I prefer Starbucks, uh, I guess because I'm a millennial, maybe. But, uh, anyways, they, they do have pretty decent coffee, I won't lie. I saved it. Oh, Lord, what'd you do? You know, you have those big cups, and the bottom of the thing gets stuck on it. Yeah. You know, that's why, like, I think all the ones in your truck have gotten thrown away. I realized I threw it away, but I went and So there's the evidence that you're the one that's been losing the ones in my truck. Maybe. Wait, so let me get this straight. So you, you went and dug in a You went and dug in a Love's trash can. It was just right there on top, but I am hand sanitizing. <laughs> we are now in Alabama. We're only a couple of hours away from the RV park. Uh, we stopped at this rest area. Man, it is a nice rest area. Uh, good job, Alabama, putting this together. It's a beautiful park. We're uh, stretching our legs, going to the bathroom, that kind of thing. I needed to tighten the driver's side mirror because it had started rotating around. Um, I noticed when tightening it that the previous owner put some tape underneath it to try to keep it still. So it must be a uh, recurring issue. But man, take a look at this park. So we have settled in in our spot. It's basically, uh, Lana was just telling me about, well here, I'll just let you tell it. So I was reading in like, this family has owned this land. I think this is like around 80 something acres. But they also own several acres of where the track was built that they sold obviously to the people who built the track. But the family kept this land and they only open it. They sit, the family still lives here, but they open it for the April and October races. And it's like family owned by like the most precious elderly couple. So it's been in their family for 125 years. Hmm. Pretty cool. So like I said, that's our spot. You can see we're on the field. Normally I think this place will be packed, but with COVID. And then you literally turn around and there's the track right there. And look, there's a the track. Look at the mountains. So look, once again, there's ours. There's our rig. Just turn around in place and boom, there's the track. Isn't that cool? What are you doing? Get my fire going. With your new little fire ring thing? Yep. 
What was that? A lot, a lot of people around here dug uh, holes in the ground. Like, seriously, like, massive holes in the ground because the fire needs to be contained. But we just bought this from Amazon. Uh -oh. We got an escapee. So there's like some kind of uh, firebox thing that's like off the ground, like a little. It's like a little stainless. Like a hammock for a mm -hmm. fire with stainless. Interesting. The temperature has dropped out here. I think fall is finally here. How cold do you think it is here, Lana? Like 50s? In the 50s, probably in the mornings. It's been in the like upper 40s. Yeah, I think so. I think probably tomorrow will be in the 40s, but whew, cold. What's neat is uh, we're sitting here. We know we ate. We had some drinks. We're sitting here trying to get the fire going. You can hear the uh, the smaller circle track boys racing the night. So I can't imagine, that's just a small circle track. Like how loud is the truck race uh, and the Xfinity race gonna be tomorrow? Well, it is Saturday morning now, and we are headed up to the Chiha? Chiaha. Something State Park, uh, which is somewhat near Talladega. Um, it's a really scenic drive up 281, beautiful so far. Um, and we're gonna go do a little bit of hiking, hiking trip. So that's how we're gonna spend our Saturday. We were originally planning like a year ago to go to the Xfinity race and truck race today. Uh, but obviously they're not letting people into those because then they'd have to sanitize it between each race, etc. So they're only letting people in the big boys, the Sprint Cup, or Monster Energy now, I guess. Not Sprint Cup anymore, uh, Monster Energy. Anyways, uh, so we're going to go do a little hike and then we're going to go back and listen enjoy the race. Listen to the race. <laughs> yeah, listen to the race from a mile away. Anyways, let's get to it. Scooter's a little dusty, so uh, we're going to represent a little bit today. That is not William Byron, by the way. That is a Jeff Gordon tribute. How you feel about that? 24 ever, right? That's right. And that's why I married her, folks. I mean, it's not the Grand Canyon, but <laughs> pretty cool. Well, the bald rock was pretty neat. Pretty good views of, uh, I don't know what town that is. What, you know what town that is? No. <laughs> In Alabama, whatever bald rock looks over. Pretty neat. Um, what's really neat is this, uh, this accessible trail that we're using. We did get off of it early and actually walked the the rocky trail part of it, but now we're just gonna take the the wooden one back. But man, what a neat trail. It's nice and cool up here. So this is Bald Rock Lodge, you can see. It is a really neat place. I guess you can rent it out here. But that'd be a pretty neat place to stay. Now we are exploring the pulpit trail. <laughs> it's a doozy. Yeah. 
So this is like level, and then we had to come from up there. So it's like Rough. down, downhill. Let me tell you, Especially I'm not. Especially for some flatlanders. Yeah, I'm not worried about uh, going down. It's uh, making it back. So there's no wooden trail on this one. <laughs> this is land at level when we had to traverse that. <laughs> hey, you know we got to go back up there, right? I'm just glad food is somewhere in our future. Yeah, but we didn't have our Wheaties. Our we didn't have our Wheaties this morning. We had coffee. Best we're getting. Yeah. We barely had that. Crazy looking tree. Finally made it to the end of the pulpit trail and good lord how rewarding is it the views you can see for miles uh, we think this is the tail end of the Appalachian Mountains um, the mountains aren't like super tall but enough to kind of give the terrain some interesting look to it man what a view it's surrounded by the Talladega National Forest so yeah. all of this greenery around us is the forest pretty pretty awesome reminds me of the Lion King where it's like everything the sun touches is our king. <laughs> That's kind of neat. It's like a little man-made waterfall looking thing. That is a big Bigfoot. Finally found him. All these years. You've been this class right here in Alabama. <laughs> this is neat. We get to go inside the tower. This is cool. Yeah. It is. And I wonder all of the people who have professed their love for each other in here. <laughs> I wonder if they're still made it. They still together. Mm. What do you think of this restaurant? It's really pretty. It's like a little cabinish type feel with like the antler uh, chandeliers and the wood beams and the rocks. Yeah, the view is what gets me. Yeah, great view. How's your chicken tenders? Chicken tendies. So good. What are you doing? I'm walking this back nicely because I don't want it to scratch your car. Mm. And I can't drive a stick, so I'm walking it back. I'll come help you in a second. I'll be alright. Oh. 
Well, we got back from the races last night and uh, had a pretty good night. Just hanging around the fire and that kind of thing. Uh, and today is race day. So if you want to see that video and other adventures of ours, make sure you like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one. So see you next week. Bye.